Welcome back to the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. I'm Ernest and today we're gonna install a backup camera in my wife's car. So, hey buddy. Um, Autovox sent me a backup camera and they actually offered, they're like, hey, can we send you a backup camera to include in a video? And I normally say no to a lot of companies like that. I'm like, you know what? I just don't have the time and I don't want to push products on people. But I was thinking, I was like, you know what? My wife would actually probably really like a backup camera. And these people have been the best seller on Amazon, like second or third best seller on Amazon since 2018 consistently. So I'm like, eh, they've got a good reputation. And I said, you know what? I'll do that. I'll just include it in a video because I was like, I'm really just going to put it in my wife's car. It'll be nice for her to have. I said, but send me an extra one and I'll do a giveaway. So leave a comment down below and I'll pick a random positive comment. If you if you say something weird or rude, then you're not going to be entered. But if you say something nice or positive or uplifting, leave a comment down below. And if you want a backup camera, you'll be entered in the drawing. I'll contact the winner in two weeks. There's going to be a link in the description. They gave us a 10% off discount code. They're not paying me anything. They just sent me the, the product and one to give away. So uh, yeah, if it looks like something that you like, just check out. There's a 10% off discount code in the link down below or at the top of the description, there's a link. And uh, we're, we're going to install this on my wife's car. That's pretty much the goal of the project. All right, so that box is empty. I left the instructions inside. Hopefully uh, we're not going to need them. This should be pretty straightforward. It says it's actually like super easy installing because it's wireless. So you don't have to like drill or wire anything. It does have like a power supply wire though. So I'm not sure what the specific definition of wireless or you know, like no wiring installation means because there's that, but I know how to do that. So that's no big deal, but maybe that's not necessary. It is a wireless receiver. We'll go ahead and just spot out in the back how it's gonna hook up. I haven't even really looked at it. I just kind of pulled these out of the box. So set that, yeah, spring down on the grass. Concrete, that'll be nice. That's a joke. Okay. Oh, so that is that is nice. You can actually just plug this in. I see what they mean. They just have a you a, like a cigarette lighter plug in, so you don't actually have to run any wiring in the car. It looks like that's you know that'll turn it on. Um, what I'm confused about actually though is the fact that a lot of these and I see a wire on this. You do have to supply power to the camera. There's a little camera lens. I'll pull it out and give you a better look. But a lot of these you have to actually wire to the reverse lights. That way. The system powers up when you put it in reverse and the reverse camera comes on but here we go these are nice little connectors especially for stuff like this i actually don't mind using these i used to hate them just the idea of like smashing something into your wires but i've been using them on like my own vehicles like when i installed trailer lights on my truck and stuff like that i just kind of use these and i haven't had any issues with them this is uh so this is the other part i'm gonna probably just wire this up underneath the dash so i'll find a power supply that's only on when the key is on depending on how the system works um this probably just powers on when it picks up a signal from the camera, but we'll see. And we'll put this up in the front seat. This is just the, the camera. And that's, uh, this is the little cable that plugs into either the USB or wherever you wire that from. And this will just mount right up to the windshield. So pretty easy installation. And uh, I think it'll give my wife a bit of confidence. Apparently the camera's at 110 degree angle as well, which is like, uh, I think they say like the golden angle for parking to help you like parallel park. Now I'm curious where I should put this camera monitor, technically, I guess, on this windshield. Let me know in the comments down below if you have experience putting a reverse monitor, camera monitor on your dash somewhere, because I don't know if it like right there in the middle makes sense, because when you're trying to reverse, maybe your head, you're already leaning that way to look out the back window. So maybe I put it up here, or maybe like right there. And that's that shouldn't be anything in your blind spot right there if that creates a little bit of a blind spot with that rear view mirror maybe just right there but then i've got this wiring so maybe i'll put it up here i don't know i'll see what i come up with but if you have something that's like hey i've tried everything and this was the best place just let me know down in the comments because uh yeah your ideas may be better than mine yeah well i'm just gonna smack this up here in the corner real quick there you go oh that's tire rotation well i don't want a tire rotation sticker there anyways what are we at 22 oh, still 2,000 more miles till I need to rotate the tires. I was like, I didn't get an oil change anywhere. <laughs> That'll work right there. Yeah, these tires are brand new. They haven't even had their first rotation and got a hole in the front driver's side one the other day. My wife was a, uh... wow, that thing's sticky. I thought it was a suction cup, but whoa, that's sticky. It's a sticky suction cup, I guess. I guess. Well, now that kind of limits my opportunities of, uh, repositioning this thing as frequently as I want to, but, uh, okay, well, there it says on the screen that the camera's not gonna be on until the rear 
camera is powered, so I'm guessing we have to wire that into the brake lights, which is easy, especially on this vehicle. Um, well, no, because then I can't open the visor. Should have thought of that before I stuck this. I don't know how many tries we get with this because it's definitely got adhesive on it. Well, I don't know what kind of adhesive I would say. It's not like it's going to rip any sort of film off of your windshield. I don't think. Maybe. So maybe I put it right here. But I feel like that's like a blind spot if you're looking at the other lane of traffic. Definitely. Uh, then I put it there. That's going to... I'll just put it right below the rear view mirror for now. We'll see. Well, no, because it's wiring. Dang. I guess I'll put it down here. Yeah, I'll put it right over the dash. There we go. And that'll do. Just tighten it up enough to not have to worry about it just flopping around when you're driving. Uh, no, 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 there we go. <laughs> I'm sure you can get stuff that like replaces this. In fact, this old radio, this knob doesn't even work. I mean, sometimes you can get it to go up a little, but then when you try to turn it down, it goes to like max volume. So we really don't use the radio much, but maybe I'll get something for it to go right here um yeah this is going to be uh the the thing i'm going to do i may try and run the wiring back down behind the dash but what you could do is just run it out of the door here in fact if this is the fuse panel here i'm going to do that we'll see i may just run it behind this plastic trim around the edge there and i don't have to worry about pulling out too much trim to get that wired down there and the wireless receiver that's awesome because i was just thinking this whole time i was going to have to pull up the door trim all the way back to run it to the rear and we'll see how that camera hooks up I, i've seen a lot that go on the license plate screws so we'll see actually my concern with this crv now that i open this back is if i wire it to this door somehow not right now if i wire it to this door somehow i don't have to do it in a manner to where when i open it all the way up that doesn't cause an issue so maybe i'll have to pull this panel off run the wiring up through here and connect it to the rear uh lights there the rear view lights so that's probably what i'll do just looking at it right now um if that's how it connects let's look at the camera and see that's that extra wire oh what a shot i threw it right into the little slot up there it stuck that was sweet that's what I was aiming for, but you know, it's kind of just like a subconscious aim, like, all right, we'll throw it right at that. Okay, let's see how this connects. Yeah, so, um, oh, wait, what, what does this connect to? So here's what I'm thinking. Now that I look at this, this, this right here goes into the rear view light. And this is the sender and the receiver is built into the monitor is my guess. So this isn't a receiver up there that the monitor plugs into. Maybe I'll have to go get the instructions from inside because now that I look at this, this right here has the same plug in as that monitor. So then what is this for? And then I've got to run this. What? Oh, no, 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 I see. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, wait. What does that monitor plug into then? <clears throat> Reset, that was all nonsense. I figured it out before I was about to go inside and grab the instructions. This powers the camera. So this is gonna have to plug right into those reverse lights. Plenty of length, that's nice. That'll be fine. Then this has a, a sender on it. Probably this is the sender somewhere in here. And we are going to video. What's that video? Hmm. Interesting. Not sure. Oh, my theory right now is then we just hook this up into the power supply back here, and this is an independent system. It's got a sender in here somewhere, and that's got a receiver. The monitor up there's got a receiver, and this isn't an optional like plug-in. I guess we have to use the USB plug-in adapter for that monitor as long as we want to use it. And they're just kind of two separate systems sitting up here, both both plugged in. Now, if I can somehow cut those wiring on that USB receiver and just wire it into something that has power through the fuse panel when the uh, accessories are on, I'll probably just do that so that we don't have taken up a USB um, plug-in socket. And this is Mac, say, welcome back to Roadside Rescue. Hmm. Say it. Welcome say, back to Roadside Rescue. There you go. Good job. All right, so right now, yeah, we'll probably put this over the license plate here, right where I'm missing a screw, so. 
or give me a reason to find a screw that fits that. And maybe like this. Yeah, that's got nice and out of the way there, if you can see that. And then I'll run this wiring up into the door and through the grommet for the wiring and to the reverse height. So let's find a screw first. All right, I got my screwdriver and I found this screw. It's probably too long, maybe too small. We'll see if it fits. I really don't want to go to the parts store just to get one of these screws, but I could always, I guess, actually, I probably just put it right there. See if this one goes in, then I'll switch it to the middle because that's closer to the middle of the door anyways. And it's, it's in there. It's probably not going to come out, but not the right size. And that's in there. It's probably not going to come out, but it's definitely not tightening down because it's not the right size. But anyways, I'll just slap this one on here. don't know why I need to find another screw that's the exact same size. So we have one. And that's a look at that big old big one right there. Don't know why that sticky stuff's on there. I guess you can decide if you want to put it on with a different angle. Oh yeah, plus if I put it right there, that's where the handle for the door is, so it's better that it's over here. Oh, but then if I put it over here, that's what I was thinking. It's covering up those numbers. I might get pulled over. Huh. All right, so plan C. Um, I had it sitting right here, but it was covering up the numbers on the license plates, which obviously you can't do. You know, I'd be very surprised. In fact, I'd wager a guess that it probably would not cause an issue, but if my wife decides to pass by a cop, who on that particular day decides, hey, let me enforce that law, I'll get her pulled over for nothing. So what I'm gonna do is test the adhesiveness on the back of this, or the front, depending on how I put it on, and smack it up here. Beside this brake light, there's a brake light right there. So I may put it like right, I may put it right there. That's where we'll put it, right here. Keep it out of that way of that windshield wiper. Now that I think about that, so many details. Put it right here. And I'm gonna run the wire, instead of drilling some sort of weird hole or something that doesn't need to be there, I'll just run the wire right back through here, under here, and just zip tie it to something. So it's just secure. Then we'll run that wire down around the edge of this. This is the part that seals off though. This is the weatherproofing seal here. So behind here, no worries. You can tape it down or do whatever uh, and then this is how the light is taken out so we'll just uh, pop this light loose real quick wire it into that reverse light and in theory it should be good to go so we'll see it should just be a couple minutes here now that I have figured out where everything's gonna go exactly I could use a self tapper up here I think there's a piece of plastic trim though and I just not metal I just closed this window hard enough to lock it so Whew, just brain going on one thing and not thinking about the other but taking my time I think I've got it all figured out and uh, here we go. Can we clean that up? All right, so let's scrub this, getting the dirt, dirt, dirt off, the dirt, dirt, dirt off. And um, you can see how warm it is outside because that's evaporating pretty much instantly. Get some alcohol on there. Maybe not use a wet wipe after that, just alcohol and let that dry. And that should be a pretty clean surface. We'll slap her on there. Something like that is what I'm thinking. Yeah, so it's pointing down. Okay. We'll see if this adhesive is good. Oh, it's 3M, that's good. I've used some adhesive on some cheap lights I bought before, and uh, they looked like that. It wasn't 3M though, and I, they were lights I was installing on a customer's F350. Shout out to Trevor who works on F350s help me with that bus but anyways uh it popped off like a week later and he called me and was like hey my lights you just installed popped off well that's embarrassing and so uh i just kind of like i just kind of verify the goodness of the adhesive i'm going to use now but that was 3m so 3m is good stuff all right you see the tools out of my ups truck man i'm a little bummed because i've got this conversion kit for this engine which was supposed to get here way later than the engine and Lo and behold, a month and a half, two months later, I'm still waiting on that engine. So I'm about to pull the plug on that uh, and just tell that guy, you know what, forget it. I'll get an engine elsewhere. Uh, kind of at, at the end of my rope, what I'm going to do there. So stay tuned. Everybody should have an answer coming soon, at least. As soon as I got up in the truck, I second guessed myself and said, hmm, maybe that was a 10, two 10 millimeters and a 12 millimeter. But now that I'm back here, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Confirmation is I was right. It's not two 10 millimeters and an eight, it's two eights and a 10. Okay, put that there. You don't wanna lose these kinds of screws in the road. Even though they're not sharp, these ones with little washers and just real thick, real thick will, uh, they'll get up in your tire. Especially the sharp ones though, the self-tappers. 
you see like these are flat but they'll end up sitting like this when a tire goes on them it just these washers will hold it up on the road sticking straight up so don't want to do that but you obviously want to put them back in their place so don't lose them that's the main reason Ooh, what's that is that three three eighths that's a 10 millimeter there but that was way too big is that one the same size and just looks way bigger sure is interesting wow Oh, it's because I'm seeing the washer behind it. Okay, I was wrong. Three eighths. <laughs> and three eight millimeters, not three eighths. Oh, this isn't even the right screw. That's why it looks different. Somebody, this one will pop a tire for sure, but this one's a self-tapper. Okay, this should just pop out. Bingo. Reverse lights down here, power ground. Sometimes they're labeled on the sockets, if not, I'll look it up and see which color means which. I'm just gonna undo this socket here so that I can do it down here on my own free will. Okay, uh, safety lock, da, 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 doesn't say there, but sometimes it'll say on the wiring. If it doesn't say there, sometimes it'll say on here, but uh, it is a simple circuit though, so I could probably wire it backwards and be fine, but I'll just, uh, Look it up real quick and see. Uh, black's probably ground. In fact, it usually is. And the fact that each one of these has a black going to them as well would tell me that all these black wires mean ground. Because we're going to come back here to all these. Sometimes it'll even say here. These are all going to come back. All the blacks are going to come back into the main point here. Should be ground. Everything else has a different power circuit for when your headlights are on and then when you apply the brakes and everything so okay yeah that black's definitely ground i'm not even going to look it up uh that's conclusive right there so slap that those two connectors right on here put her back together but the, the the deal is now that we've got this big old section of wiring in fact i'm going to go double check triple check up there now this doesn't need to be plugged into the dash and i'm doing something wrong back here but 12 volt in and ground so it's, these are labeled it, it, it's long enough though to say hey this needs to run all the way up to the front so i'm going to double check that i don't need to just run this up to the front first before i find a way to tuck this all up in there and close it back up and then have to pull it back out to run it up to the front so let's see okay at least they were considerate enough to give us one of these and the crv definitely doesn't lack in cigarette lighter outlets i think it has an extra one down here even well, I thought there was two over here. I know there's some in the trunk, but I don't want to like, you see here, I don't want to take up, especially if you're in a car with one cigarette lighter. And this was, this is a 99. So maybe it is just one up here. I thought there was two though. Um, yeah, I'll probably just cut this, find the wires. There should just be two wires in there and see which one goes to power, which one goes to ground. And eventually I probably won't do it right now, but eventually I'll snip that and just run it behind the dash down to the fuse panel and in wire it into something that's fused. All right, well, just for testing its sake, let's make sure everything up here goes together how I expect it to, and then bingo, uh, that should work. We'll uh, beautify it after I'm done here. I probably won't do it on video, but like I said, it's just gonna go behind the dash and wire in. And here we go. I'm about 199% positive that this car almost got robbed just now. I'm always like, yeah, I'll leave my tools out. I don't care. But uh, somebody didn't see me sitting in the car with the doors here open. And uh, they stopped right behind the car and somebody hopped out. And the other person drove to the park that I live half a block away from. And then uh, I hopped out and the person looked down at the ground real quick and took off walking towards the park. And I said, what's up, buddy? And uh, yeah, pretty sure he was going to come over here and take a sneak peek and see uh, what was going on. But I popped out. He hadn't seen me because, oh, you know why? As you look through there, you can't see me. I got a camouflage headband. And now he's just sitting on the sidewalk, half a block down, just waiting for something. So we'll see what the word is. He's knocking everything over. Ooh, four zip ties, that's nice. I'll just use these to get that wire out of the way, even though they're real small. Just hook them up to something. Okay, yeah. I'm, confident that's going to go into that reverse light i didn't read the manual though but that's how these uh reverse cameras work maybe if i remember i'll trim these zip ties afterwards 
Okay, I'll run this, and you don't want to tie it too tight around here because what I'm holding, if you can't see, is the windshield washer fluid. And that runs probably up through the headboard all the way back, probably down the side there. So you don't want to really cause an issue with that and have to deal with all that. You can see there, I just tied it to that so it goes straight backwards and the camera's sitting right there. Just goes straight back. That way it does, the wire doesn't get pulled over there. Wire, tied it to that so it's just sitting there. It's got two points of contact so probably not going to come loose and end up hanging down like this in a big loop. And then uh, we'll end up just taking this straight out to here and finding a way that it tucks up nice underneath here. I know there's some space because there's plenty of leaves down there. It's interesting that... Uh, the tips of these wires are stripped because all we're using is this connector so probably just prefabbed for the way it is so we slide one in first like this like i said this isn't my first choice but i i'm fine using these especially on my own vehicle and we'll go to power first because that's what i'm i got my fingers on first open just enough to get that wire in there and push come on baby let me stick this little uh, just doing everything balanced up here <clears throat> let me stick this little uh, pry thing in there just loosen it up enough to let us get that wire in there maybe so it's not so tight just put her on this now you want to do it in a way that's easiest to pinch it when you're done because you got to put a lot of force on these and there it goes it's in and almost officially and now officially it's in okay we got that that's power so we want to make sure we just double check 12 volt in right here and uh i'll give myself a little bit of space in case some corrosion decides to work its way in and get done on this wire at some point i'll pinch her off right about here and that's in bingo all you got to do now is grab a pair of pliers usually and pinch this because it's hard to do by hand, but I may be able to do it. There's our boys. We're trying to take a peek over here. Just sit around, don't look too obvious, and get back in the car. And then drive off. Just gave him a weird little smile as they drove past. That was a definitely what was going on there he was gonna sneak over here look back here see if anything was nice take it down to the park get back in his buddy's car and drive off and then i guess he didn't have his phone with him or he did and his buddy came out and picked him up shortly after i don't know why he wouldn't have just gone over to the park that's obviously where he is well hopefully i scared him enough that they decide it's not worth it to come back and try again <laughs> that's funny though because literally i'm sitting right here surely they didn't see me because i think it's funny especially because i have a camouflage uh rag on my head might get that black one all the way in the second trail there go on as you can see get in start to come back out just put some pressure on it there it goes okay that's ground double check here we got this one that says ground sure do and we will kind of untwist these here run it up through oh could have stayed right there that's probably fine um yep Good enough. I wonder if I got their license plate on video. It was sitting on their dash, sitting on the windshield. So we'll see. All right, so that may be good enough that it got in there. These are locked, so that's usually the indicator that it is, but you know, I may have to grab these with some pliers and just pinch the middle here so they squeeze all the way down into those wires. In fact, I don't know if I've ever done one successfully by hand, so let me just go do that now. In fact, I wish I would have stayed in the car. I saw him coming over towards the car. The way they stopped, it was like obvious what was going on. You know, I could be wrong. I don't like to judge people, but I'm like, I can't imagine any other situation where they weren't trying to come over here and do something dubious. And as soon as I noticed, I hopped out of the car to kind of like scare him away. But thinking back, I'm like, I really wished I would have just stayed in the car and said something when he walked up and looked in the back. All right, so we got those pinched with the pliers. Let's go ahead and just put this back together 
In fact, at this point, we should be able to confirm with the key that it's working. Before I close it all up, let's plug the camera in here. We should get a good look at the sky and that monitor should turn on. Okay. Okay, moment of truth here. We should be able to put this. I saw the monitor turn on, that's good. Let's pull the film off and then it shouldn't come on until I put it in reverse. Oh, that's stuck. Okay, reverse. All right, here's the guidebook. Is that what I called it? Backup camera cam, I don't know. We'll see how to pair it. Okay, so exactly what I did, wired it into the reverse light. They recommended putting it on the license plate it looked like, but not gonna do that. Operating instruction. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe I should put this, maybe that's the receiver. Maybe I should put it up there in good uh, communication line with that monitor. We'll see. Thought that was the issue. All right, here we go. I know the monitor's plugged in. That was the main, it looks like the main issue, but there goes. And now we put it into reverse. Come on, baby. Okay, let's try this again. Why is this, why is this harder than it should be? So let's take these apart. We will take these apart and we will stick the naked tip of those wires. We'll probably strip even more off of those, the tips of those. And we will make sure that can make it all the way down there. But it looks like I literally, try. there's no way that's not connected. I can literally see it's connected right there. Not that wire so hard. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Goodness me, I'm a doofus sometimes. I just don't think things through. I did this when I was, I was literally thinking about that today. When I diagnosed, when I, when I fixed the, replaced the airbag, that's what I'm trying to say. When I replaced the airbag in the CRV, I bought it when it was crashed. Check out the video if I remember. I'll link it right here. If not, remind me in the comments. Uh, I'm like, diagnose. I'm like, these new horn buttons don't work because I used the horn buttons that came with them. So I put the old horn buttons back on. Those didn't work either. And I was like, what's going on? And obviously the airbag assembly has to be put in to be grounded. Well, guess what's wrong here? I never plugged this back in. So let me plug this back in and then we'll go from there. <laughs> but this should work. Sometimes I just get caught, especially in the heat like this, doing something weird like this. And especially because I'm like, oh, trying to figure out this whole new thing without looking at the manual. I just don't really finish the loop in my brain that needs to be completed for every single component of the system. Enough talking, this should work. All right, tell me what you got, Auto Vox. Ooh, bingo, there's the sky, that's what we should see. All right, and that'll remind you too, if you left the window up for whatever reason, which never happens, uh, hey, your window's up. Okay, might need to be down lower for those lines to be pretty uh, accurate, but you know, she should be able to see her bumper better like this anyway, so that's just fine. You figure out putting all this together in a manner that uh, doesn't give me claustrophobia. Probably just with these wires. I just took it back out to make it easy, and I'm going to just use Honda Engineers design to run the wiring beside the side here where this little channel is so that should give me enough room i'm guessing all right well it's ugly but it might work it took a lot longer than it should have but i don't know it was kind of fun to get out here it's like the first day i've been able to do anything since the surgery and just um, play around with the car <laughs> there you have it all three are tight well probably not tight but they're started pretty much tight yep that's tight and that's a job well done well thanks for watching i'm Ernest. leave a comment down below I'll choose a random winner in two weeks and uh i'll say i'll message you below your comment i'll comment on your comment and thanks for watching consider subscribing or becoming a channel member to help support the channel i'll see you on the next episode